Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amona Project. We here at the Amona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, guidance, uh, advice, and um, continuing on the subject of um, uh, the Yetzirah uh, tempting us uh, uh, with a side attack, being overly righteous, and coming at us in an unexpected uh, manner. I'm uh, reminded of the words of um, Harav Yaakov Yosef. This was the chief rabbi of New York uh, about 100 years ago, near the turn of the century. And he identified two types of sin. Lots of sin, but he identified two types of sin. One was an obvious sin. Clear cuts, no problem. Uh, it's a clear misdeed. You know, it's obvious. He says, this sort of sin is easy to see and easy to rectify. The person has to acknowledge that what he's doing is wrong. There's no way to spin that. The second one is harder. This second sin is cloaked in the, um, the facade of a mitzvah. The person who's doing this sin thinks he's doing a good thing. Harder to identify because the person thinks he's doing the right thing. And um, this type of sin can get a hold of uh, very many well-meaning people, well-meaning Jews, well-meaning Noahides. Um, it has driven them into a real problem before they even realize where they are. They think they're doing something good. They've deluded themselves. They've misled themselves into thinking that what they're doing is actually a good thing. Um, I'm reminded of the uh, spies that Moses sent into the Holy Land. These were righteous people. These, these weren't just a bunch of guys. These were, these were holy, righteous uh, people. They were tzaddikim. And he sent them, 12 spies, into, uh, into the land of Israel. Check it out. Are there farmland? Is the cities fortified? What kind of opposition are we going to have? Two guys came back, we can take them. We can do it. The other ten, well, you know, these people are big, they're giants, I don't know. It's possible that these people, these ten spies, may have thought that what they were doing was a good thing. They were giving their honest impression and protecting the Jewish people, and maybe it was God's will that... Um, the Jewish people for now be protected from what may very well be a disastrous attempt to uh, to take over the country. Um, it says uh, it says in the book of uh, uh, Numbers, I believe, that uh, that Moses uh, blessed uh, Joshua, Yeshua ben Nun. And uh, a lot of people say one of the reasons uh, for this blessing um, was uh, that he would uh, clear Joshua's eyes and so that he will not be deceived into thinking that something bad is, well, maybe it's L'Shem Shemayim, maybe it's in the name of heaven, maybe it's a good thing. He uh, protected Joshua from, uh, from falling into this trap. Let us too protect ourselves. Uh, let us be clear-eyed, clear-minded uh, about what we're doing. It's easy to be fooled by the Yetzirah, by your evil inclination, that doing something, well, it may look a bit fishy, but really, ultimately, it's for the good. Be very clear-headed about this. Know what you're doing. Appreciate what you're doing. Stand back. Don't allow yourself to be seduced by these false arguments. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.